Hi everyone! Subscribe, hit the like button, and write in the comments below who will eventually go through in the clash between Barca and Manchester United. And while you're typing, we proceed to start. Let's get the show on the pitch. I believe that Fred's handball was a clear penalty. After the final whistle, I told the referee about that. It's my opinion. I did not agree with the referee's words that the hand was close to the body, Chavi stated. Barcelona will not be punished for payments to the vice president of the technical committee of La Liga referees. We faced the number one team in Spain in an away game and were that dominant. I think we should have scored a minimum of four goals, Eric Ten Hag thinks. Pedri will miss three to four weeks with a thigh injury. Most likely, he will not be available for the tie against Real Madrid. Barcelona's 11-game winning streak came to an end after they played a draw against Manchester United in the Europa League. Marcus Rashford has scored his 22nd goal of the season against Barcelona and equaled his own best scoring tally. UEFA has announced that Russia will receive points in the odds table for the current season, despite the fact that earlier on its clubs were disqualified from participating in the European Cups due to Russia's war against Ukraine. Real Madrid are keeping tabs on Diogo Dalot, as Ancelotti would like to sign a near right back. The former vice president of the Spanish referee committee, José María Enríquez Negreira, has been providing Barcelona reports on referees' work ahead of the games. It's noted that all reports are kept in the archives of Dasnil95 and can be provided to the court. Liverpool, Manchester City and Manchester United are monitoring Mason Mount's contract situation at Chelsea after extension talks stalled. Real Madrid will not make any public statements regarding the scandal surrounding Barcelona. Los Blancos believe that they have nothing to do with the matter, although certain referee decisions could have affected them. AS Monaco head coach Felipe Clemen has rejected the offer to take over a Leeds United job. Tottenham's owners, Anik Group, are not currently looking to sell the club shares to billionaire Jam Najafi. I understand Rafinha's anger. I was angry too when I was substituted, but he apologized and everything is fine, Xavi said. When you realize that the ball has already been knocked out, join the defense, and Mudrik let Ademi run away from him, Jokol noted. Chelsea are willing to include several of their footballers in the Felix deal to lower the overall price. Catherine Mayorga's lawyer, who accused Ronaldo of rape, was ordered to pay the footballer reimbursement in the amount of $334,637. Salernitana have appointed Paulo Sousa as their new head coach. The contract with the 52-year-old Portuguese runs until the end of the current season. Ilkay Gindewan's agent met with Barcelona Sports Management. Manchester City midfielder will be out of contract in the summer. Arsenal and Barcelona are interested in forward Vitor Roque. Atletico Paranaense ask at least 40 million euros for his services. Erling Holland has broken his three-game goal-scoring drought against Arsenal. Spezia Calcio have announced on its official website that Luca Gotti has been relieved out of his position as head coach of the first team. Al Nasser forward Cristiano Ronaldo has been named in the FIFA 23 Team of the Week for Week 16. Arsenal have three defeats and a draw in their last four games. Arsenal head coach Mikel Arteta has reportedly asked the club's board to sign Real Sociedad midfielder Martin Zubimendi in the summer. I have more belief in winning the title than I had before the game against City. The players feel they can do it, Mikel Arteta assured. 560 penalties have been awarded in favor of Real Madrid in La Liga, an absolute record. Manchester United, along with Liverpool, intend to sign Eintracht Frankfurt star Randall Kalamwani this summer. Man City is the first club to win seven consecutive away games against Arsenal. Neymar was spotted taking part in the poker tournament just hours after Paris Saint-Germain's 1-0 Champions League defeat to Bayern Munich. The Brazil Football Federation will punish teams whose employees or fans commit incidents of racism and racist abuse with points deductions. Ceballos is doing a fantastic job and we are delighted with him, Carlo Ancelotti shared. Calvin Ramsey has another unspecified long-term injury and has now had surgery on it. 
When asked if he believes that Marco Asensio will stay at Real Madrid next season, Carlo Ancelotti said, he looks good to me, so I don't know if he stays or not. Gavi picked up a yellow card in yesterday's match. Thus, Barca midfielder will serve a suspension in a second leg. Here are the latest results of yesterday's games. Moving on to the May New South release. Let's have a brief rewind of yesterday's Conference League Round of 16 most interesting battles. Here we are to highlight Fiorentina's confident victory over Braga with both Javic and Cabral bagging braces. We also should definitely mention the duel between Lazio and Cluj. The Romans won with a minimal difference thanks to Chiri Marbellis' accurate shot. Up next, we have the Europa League round of 16 clashes. Ajax could not beat Union 0-0. RB Salzburg turned out to be stronger than Roma 1-0. Nicolas Capaldo laid header saved the day for the Red Bulls. Shakhtar dealt with Rennes 2-1. Monaco got an unexpected away victory over Bayer 2-3. Guests responded to goals from Wirtz and Diaby with brilliant strikes from Diata and Di Sassi. Gradetsky's own goal also helped to make the difference. Sevilla smashed PSV 3-0. And Siri, Lucas Ocampos and Nemanja Gudel got the job done. Sporting and Midtjylland ended things up in a 1-1 draw, and Juventus disappointed their fans with a draw against Nantes 1-1. Blas equalized after Vlahovic's goal. At last, we had the main event of the day, in which Barca and Manchester United gave us a thrilling roller coaster ride to remember. We are sure you have already watched the whole match or its review, so we are not gonna describe every single minute in detail. 2 2 is the final score. Marcos Alonso gave Blaugrana the lead. Then the Red Devils quickly responded with a strike from Rashford. Kunde's own goal made things complicated for Barca, but Rafinha's cross saved the Cutlands a chance for a place in the quarterfinal. 2-2. Aside from purely gaming moments, there were many controversial situations such as after contact with Kunde and Fred's handball in the box. Anyways, we saw a phenomenal spectacle that resulted in a logical draw. Everything will be decided at El Trafford. PSG are not gonna spend all available resources to keep Lionel Messi in the squad, RMC Sport reports. The current deal of the 35-year-old footballer expires in the summer, while renewal talks have recently become problematic. The source also notes the Red and Blues having no intention of trying to convince Messi to stay at any price. Therefore, it's more likely that Lionel will leave Paris as a free agent. Lionel Messi's father commented on rumors about his son's potential return to Barcelona. I don't think Leo will play for Barca again. The conditions are not met. We have not spoken with Laporta and there is not even an offer from the club. I don't know if it's gonna be possible. Leo has a contract with PSG, Jorge Messi concluded. PSG head coach Christophe Galtier may leave his post before the end of the ongoing season. According to RMC Sport, the manager's position will be at risk in case the Parisians get knocked out from Bayern Munich in the Champions League. The game in Paris resulted in Bavarian's victory 0-1, while the second leg will be held in Munich on March 8. At the same time, the board is not concluding any consultations regarding Galtier's possible dismissal. The coach has a clear deadline to improve the result, that is, the second meeting against Bayern. Thomas Tuchel has been included into the list of candidates for the next PSG head coach. According to RMC Sport, the return of the German manager is among options in case Christoph Galtier gets sacked after the Champions League second leg battle versus Bayern Munich. Moreover, Tuchel really enjoys the support of the club's management, though Zinedine Zidane still remains the favorite for the Qatari owners. Tuchel had led the Persians from July 2018 to December 2020, reaching the Champions League final with a capital team. Xavi responded to Eric Ten Hag's provocative quote in the post-match interview. If Ten Hag says they deserved four goals, then I respect him. We could have scored more as well. In the end, I'm left with the feeling that we had the chance to beat a great team. Guys, how do you think we'll end up winning this battle? Manchester United? or Barca? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Folks, don't forget to check out suggested videos from our other projects. Have a good time watching and see you in a bit!